A lot of times we stress out by trying to do everything all at once with no proper guidance. For many people buying a house is a new learning process and knowing how to start is already difficult in itself. I'll be covering some of the most important steps you need to take right now to get started with the home buying process. I'm Gustavo from GustavoRamosRealtor.com with Best Homes Real Estate. I help families buy and sell homes here in Phoenix, Arizona, so if you have any questions, please reach out. I will also be including a link to my buyer's presentation, this way you can go over it with more time and greater detail. Now let's get started. A little bit about myself, I'm from El Paso, Texas. I joined the military right after high school and was stationed in North Dakota for six years. Once I got out, I moved here to pursue real estate and now I have been helping many families buy and sell homes for five years. I went to ASU for accounting and marketing for a few semesters until I decided to commit to becoming the best realtor I can be. It's exciting working with first time home buyers because you can tell the excitement as well as the nervousness, which is natural. I personally enjoy teaching people along the way. I don't simply get you to the finish line. I wanna make sure you understand the process and if you have any questions, just ask me and if you forget then just ask me again that's what i'm here for when working together you will receive local inside information about the housing market you will instantly have access to any home for sale in mls fitting your requirements as well as off-market properties new listings and a phone call away if you have any questions for me by getting pre-qualified, you understand what you can afford and you can also determine your mortgage payment. This way, when we submit an offer, you have an estimate of your monthly payment, which will consist of your principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Although you can avoid paying insurance if you're buying with a VA loan or you put 20% down payment. Keep in mind that HOA gets paid separately. It will not be included in your mortgage payment. I'll be providing a list of homes based on the criteria we spoke about, such as location, how many beds, and other things. If you find a house outside the list I sent you, simply send me the address and I can provide more information or schedule a showing. Be mindful that the list I send you is strictly based on your criteria, so if you find a house outside the ones I send you, there's a good chance it didn't make it through for the same reason. But no worries, just send it over and I'll check it out for you. After using comparative analysis strategies, we will determine the best price to offer the home you've chosen. In a competitive market, you might have to bid higher if the house has multiple offers. I will help you negotiate and talk to the listing agent so we can get the best price for you while also outbidding the other offers. Once we are on the contract, we will move into getting a home inspection to assure everything looks good with the home. Afterwards, we have the appraisal to ensure the value of the home is what you offered. The next step is getting your loan finalized. When submitting an offer, you can choose the day you wish to close. With a loan, it can take roughly one to two months, but in my case, we can close in a month if needed to. Get organized before the big closing day. Reserve a moving company for your moving date, set up utilities and more. When it comes to funds, don't do anything before talking to your lender. It's really easy to mess up what is already a done deal. Make sure you have all the documents needed. If you can, have them printed for confirmation. Some of the documents that can be requested are photo ID, social security number, home address, homeowner's insurance, a copy of your contract, and a wire transfer or bank statement. As your realtor, I won't be needing any of this, so don't send it to me or your realtor. Just trying to cover as much as I can in this section. This is the big day. On this day, you will sign all documents required with your title company. There will be a title transfer, deed delivery, and you'll get your keys for your new home. Closing costs and fees can accumulate to roughly 3% of the home's price. As your realtor, I'll do my best to have the seller cover all your closing costs, but for safe measures, it's important you're aware it's ultimately the seller's decision. We can influence depending on how we structure our offer. No worries, I can go over this with more detail if you have any more questions. This one is simple and important. For FHA, your down payment is 3.5% of the purchase price. For conventional, it is between 3 to 5%, but if it's not a primary home and it's an investment, then it's most likely 20%. And for VA, it's 0%. Earnest money is an advance payment for the property that is usually 1% of the purchase price, but it can be anything of value. This has to be delivered to your title company immediately after going on the contract. When budgeting for your new home, remember to set money aside for appliances and furniture that you will want to purchase upon closing. Make sure to put money aside to cover furniture maintenance and purchase lawn equipment and household tools because you'll never know when your fridge or your dishwasher might go out. This varies depending on the state as well as the neighborhood. In some areas in Phoenix, taxes can be $500 or $3,000 a year. So yes, if you're from Texas, $500 a year must sound glorious. Realtors from Texas love bragging about home prices, but they tend to forget about taxes, or at least they don't want to mention it. So yes, prices might be higher here in Phoenix in comparison to Dallas, but just know taxes are very, very low. 
It's very important that we discuss what you're looking for in your new home and be able to separate your needs and wants. Let's avoid future headaches by establishing everything at the beginning and sticking to it. With that being said, if you need a home with a pool, it's more prevalent to encounter a bidding war since everyone wants a pool. Who doesn't? Once we go over your requirements, I'll create a personalized home search for you. You'll receive them via email. From there, if you'd like to go view one or 10 homes, let me know and I can schedule them for that same day or the following day. Be aware that in most cases, we need permission from a homeowner and that can take hours to confirm. So send me the homes immediately to avoid any delays or cancellations. If you have any issues with my home search, then you have a problem with me. I'm just kidding. Just let me know what the problem is and I'll get it fixed immediately and send you an updated list. When submitting an offer, I will talk to the listing agent to get a good understanding of the situation. Are there currently any offers? Why did the house go back on the market? How old is the AC on the roof? I highly encourage you to please send me any questions you have. I'd love to help you buy your first, second, third. Should I keep going? If you're thinking about selling as well, that's something I can help you with. I've done it many times before. It might seem complicated, but I make it look easy. I hope you found this video informative. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be including links to my buyer's presentation. It has everything you need to help you get started. It even has key terms, vendors, moving guides, financial checklists, do's and don'ts, and more. I will also be including my link tree with my social media. Thank you again for your time. Please stay tuned for my next video.